<laughs> I don't know what I did. Okay. Woohoo! The world famous Rainbow Vision music competition is heating up and the rockin' girls of Neon Shadow have their eyes on the prize. Right here we have Neon Shadow's drummer, Mara Pinkett, so called, because she is, you guessed it, pink, and because she comes with a drum kit. Before we get started, this channel is for grown-ups, adult collectors. If you're a kid, uh, I suggest you go watch like the actual Rainbow High show or get your parents' permission. Grown-ups only. <laughs> okay, so Mara, like, um, she was like out of all of Neon Shadow, she was the one I was least excited for. I think that's how everyone felt. She just didn't look cute in the promotional pictures, but I thought like I liked Harley and Uma so much. I was like, I bet when I get her, I will love her and think she's gorgeous. And that is absolutely what happened. I got her, I love her, and I think she's gorgeous. So let's get her open and have some fun. Woo! <laughs> Here's the back of the box. Here's Mara, who we've got, and there's Harley, and there's Uma, and some really gorgeous cover art. And then here's the front. Here's our girl. Can't wait to get her open. There she is, along with Harley and Uma, all the band now. And we have the drum kit here. And we have her second outfit. It's a plaid coat and a pink pleather dress with a little see-through panel there. And then some boots that I am so excited to get open. So let's get cracking. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Mara. And let's just take a moment and absorb her beauty. Because... Opening her, holding her in my hands, that's what I got from her. She just has this beauty and sweetness to her. And yes, she's a bad girl in a rock band, but there's just something, I don't know, like rosy, nice, and fun. I, I, I like her a lot more than I thought I would, but let's talk about the dang hat. Okay, so I don't like it. Um, I think her outfit's weird. Like, it's, I, I just think it's weird and I don't like it yet. Hang on, yet. Somehow it's, it's all working for her. Like it makes me love the doll. I wouldn't want the doll to be in like some kind of really pretty thing. Oh wait, in case you're wondering why the rainbow divas are all back there. Um, my camera broke last week and so I was gonna open all of them but my camera broke and I didn't get to so instead I just got to stare at the unopened rainbow diva dolls and, and this one here and I just, it was just like torture. So I'm very glad I have a working camera again. But let's, uh, let's take a closer look. And she just has, oh, it's a new camera. I don't know where she, the lens is. I think it's here. Okay. <laughs> well, here's the sweet face I was telling you about. There's something, the finish on it is extremely, extremely matte. And it works so well for her. Gorgeous blue eyes, little pink eyebrows that match. There's just like one tiny flaw on mine. Let me get my, it's a hair stick. It's not even like a real pointer. Do you see right there? There's just a little, a little, extra bit of lipstick and I mean I so don't care about that I might take it off with acetone but then it's so so tiny and I just uh I don't want to hurt her she's she's like she's I have to protect her she's she's a baby I have to take care of here are some pink earrings that you totally cannot see inside the hair I guess maybe if you braid it or did something else with her hair you would see the earrings but like if they fell out you would never notice it they're the same color as the hair and Okay, so the hair, it's box hair. Uh, I think that's gonna come out pretty easily. It is crimped, like really gorgeous. Um, like I noticed like you just pick up her hair and you can just see her scalp right away. But I think, I think, I think like other places it's very thickly rooted. So I think the hair is great. It's fine, it's good. This hat thing, this weird, weird hat. Like, okay, so I've seen a lot of, in a lot of videos that people try to take the hat off and it breaks off. So I'm not gonna take it off right now, but like it twists, like it's evil and sinister and it wants to come off, but I'm not gonna take it off until like the end of the video. And I'll put in like a chapter so you can just skip to um, that part and see if the hat rips off and breaks or if it successfully comes off. So fingers crossed it comes off properly. And look, <laughs> the camera's correcting. My fingers look so dark next to her. I'm, I'm as pale as she is, but she's even paler than I am. So look, it looks like I have a, like I've been hanging out in Florida or like I've seen sunlight in the past year and I definitely haven't. <sighs> cute clothes, cute jacket. I mean, it's so, I don't know, early 2000s. And I just, it, it only works on her. I, I love it. I love it. I like, I don't know why I like it. I just do. So here we have this little pink jacket with a little patch. It says SH here. It says shadow. And here's a little safety pin like her friend Harley has. 
There's a little kitty, like the mascot. I, she's just, she's like Minnie Mouse and she's running around causing trouble. And this, it, I looked it up. It kind of, it's kind of phonetically says Team Shadow. That's what I've heard. Uh, I obviously can't read it myself, but that's what I've heard. Let's get her off her stand here. And on the back, it says anti-sparkle, of course. This is like a t-shirt dress, which is super short. And you can see her underpants already, but at least she has some on. And these are her boots, which are kind of like Balenciaga boots. Again, I'm not crazy about these, but like, okay, so I'm going to put both her outfits on her. And yet I just have a hunch this is going to be her final outfit because it's just her. It just looks cute, but I can't wait to get this outfit on the secondary outfit here. Um, this is so funny because my friend, I had my friend help me open this and he's straight <laughs> and he put them all on hangers. Like, how cute is that? He's such a sweet straight boy that he did that and that he helped me. And he got the booties out and that was that's just so cute that he put them on the hangers so i'll just go ahead and say that they come <laughs> all the neon shadow dolls come with hangers so cute one for her dress here and one for her little jacket and uh the dress hanger has clips that's how he got it on there and here's her little jacket and then um also comes with a stand with little studs on it that are pink just like she is and then it also comes with a comb that i totally forgot to get out well We'll worry about that later. So these uh, these drumsticks here are like, um, I don't know if you can see the little plastic thingies, but they're tied to her hand. So I'm gonna cut them off and uh, I'll uh, cut them off and we'll be right back in our second outfit. Here is Mara's second outfit and it is a serve. Okay, this is what I've been looking for. This is what I want in a doll. Mm, this mini dress is spectacular. I love the hot pink and it has these little studs that are like they're real like oh they're so real they're not painted on there's and then this is pleather oh my god it's so cute it's all one piece it velcros in the back but it has this like transparent strip going through it, it you see it's like clear so it's like two pieces and one piece at the same time like oh it's so cute and oh this leather jacket oh look i put her drumsticks back in her hands just so you can see what they look like when they weren't um wrapped and they just go through her thumbs and it works really well. They they stay in place, believe it or not. Okay, but let's talk about this jacket. Oh, I love this leather jacket. Okay, so it's like this side is just plain, whatever, classic black. And then this side is covered in patches. And oh my gosh, I want a jacket like this. So it says all kinds of things. I heart shadow rock, shadow high 2022, biohazard, um, some kind of kitty thing, another kind of kitty thing. There's more here. What does that say? Oh, shadow in 2022. And then on the back, it says Shadow Rock. So I'm kind of wondering if before they named it Neon Shadow, if the name of the band was uh, Shadow Rock, because that's a cute name too. Anyway, plaid here. Like, this is just a cute jacket and plaid in the back. Oh this, oh, this mini dress is too much. And check out these boots. I mean, dude, come on somebody somebody went all the way here like they just well it has the pink platforms which is adorable of course these are like material and they pull on uh it has little studs again and these little rivets here like i just love the combination of both of them i keep saying cute but that's all i can say is is so cute so cute and okay so like i had the, these this thought as i was changing her into it which is i mean i'm sure if you're watching this video you've seen pretty woman like a million times so okay these boots, right? These are like the boots Julie Roberts wore in Pretty Woman when she got picked up on the street. You know, they went up over her thigh and then the outfit she had on was a thing that was like two pieces attached as one piece. So I'm wondering if it's kind of like inspired by the Pretty Woman look. I don't know. What do you think? And uh, here's, 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 here is the comb, which I didn't get to show you before. And this is like the most fun part to do. Yeah. And here is the drum kit, which I mean, like, oh my god, I care about the doll. I don't really care about the drum kit, but whatever, it's adorable. Here is the angry mascot kitty. She looks like, or he, it looks like mad about something. And then the drums, and then the back has a kick drum, which is working. I, it, you know, you kick it and it goes bang. <laughs> so yeah, it's a very cute drum kit. I, I like her look. I like it a lot. I mean, like, 
generally I like this outfit better on like any doll, but I mean, she's so unique and so special. I don't know which one I like best on her. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try them on and then I'm going to like make my final decision on her outfit. And then uh, we're going to put her friend in the other outfit and then we'll be back. And then when I come back, I am going to try to get this thing off her head and we'll see what happens. Um, I'm going, this, this could be difficult because like I said, this is not coming off easily. So I'm going to try to get it off without breaking it. But uh, this, this next little segment here is going to be full of suspense. Woohoo! Time to rip her hat off. Say a prayer for her. I hope this works. I'm being so gentle. I just want this peg to stay with the hat and not come off in her head. Oh, oh, it works. It works. The peg is still in there. Oh, it works. It worked. Oh my God. Okay. And there's, there's the hole in her head, which I don't mind because you can cover it with her hair. Cause she, there, oh, there is a lot of it on the top. turns out. So yeah, you can cover. Oh, I'm wait. I'm, I just need a moment. I'm, I thought that was going to be a disaster. I thought I was going to have to get a hair dryer out and put heat on it. Look, it's okay. So this works. So I guess the moral of the story is if you take the hat off, just do it very, very, very carefully. Mm hmm. Now she's got a little bit of hat head. <laughs> oh, she's so cute. She's so cute. Okay, so I got to thinking about this when I was picking final outfit and I had some really deep thoughts. So for a movie I made, I spent a year and a half hang out with like really hardcore punk people and I mean that's a way of life right and like they don't I mean they're clean you know but like they they smell and then they have dirty hair and they shave half their head and dye it green and there's kind of this respect for all things trashy and all things counterculture and I like okay so I feel like her first outfit with the boots is like it pays homage to that kind of trashy look in this really glamorous way. Now, I mean, like, these pink boots, like, I mean, no, like, punk person would wear this, but, I mean, like, they would wear pink, but it has the vibe and feel of that. So I'm saying it with the utmost respect that she has crust punk vibes, and I like that. I like that. I mean, there was a reason I spent a year and a half of my life, you know, doing this for a movie. And, oh, she has greasy hair, so already, see? Um, so I like it. I dig it. Like, they got it right. They got that vibe right. I mean, except for the fact that she's a pink doll, you know, and has, you know, the Balenciaga look and stuff like that. I mean, except for that, they just, it, they got that vibe. They, they did it correctly. They got the vibe. And then the second outfit is just like a gorgeous doll outfit, which I have right here. I put it on Uma because I put everything on Uma. And I really love Uma in this. Let's make the video about Uma because I love Uma so much. But like, this is a doll that can wear a jacket and she's wearing it and... I mean, she's wearing it, wearing it. And this looks so cute. This, It's just a killer outfit. This is a killer doll. I like Uma in this. So I'm going to keep her in this for a while. Um, So I like the outfit better. But for the Mara doll, for the Mara doll overall, I mean, this, this is the way to go. The only thing I did change out was instead of the pretty woman <laughs> boots, I put her in these uh, Harley first outfit boots. Because I felt like that, I feel like they would have put her in these um, but like Harley already had them on, so they had to do something different. So they did these, which like I said, it works. I just, I don't know for some reason. Um, I think she looks super cute in this with the t-shirt dress and the little pink jacket and then her little booties. And I am so glad about her hat. Um, I, I like it on her. I'm going to take it off and play with her hair. And, um, but yeah, I like the hat. I'm so, I'm so, so, so thrilled that worked out. So anyway, we have the entire band now. I'm going to, I don't know if I can hold them all, but here's Mara. <laughs> Here's Uma in Mara's clothes, and here the king, the leader, is Harley. So here we have them all together, yay! And then I'm gonna make a video about all of them, and rank their outfits, and what I think of them as dolls. But I've just got to say that this series has just blown me away. Like, what the lengths the designers have gone to to make make dolls with character. Um, like this isn't just this isn't like just a doll. They went out of their way to do something really exceptionally different. And I realize now that, that exceptionally different thing is they all have this punkness to them. But I mean, like the thing is like punk people like don't call themselves punk, so it's not very punk to call yourself punk. But for the purposes of us talking right now, I'm gonna say punk. So it it they're beautiful. They're, first of all, they're just they're just really 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 beautiful dolls. And but um it 
it, they don't fall into that trap of just being, oh, I'm a pretty doll, I'm a pretty doll. I mean, they have a message. I mean, I almost feel like they're political. Like, like just the fact that they exist is almost a political statement that like women can be this way and behave this way and dress this way and and not like here a doll can do this and it's and break the rules and still be gorgeous and a doll that you want. I don't know. Maybe I'm going too far. Let me know what you think. Leave me any comment. I, I would love to know which outfit did you like better on Mara? Which one of these three did you like the best? Tell me anything. Please like the video. Please leave a comment. I, it just means the world to me that, <laughs> that you guys are giving me, you know, the time of your day to watch these videos and I'm making them for you and I hope they make you happy because it really makes me happy to make them. Oh my gosh, look, the sun is coming out. <laughs> the sun is coming out because it knows that I'm, I just, I just really like doing this. I appreciate it so much. And here, here's Mara, here's, here's Uma. I had to stop holding Harley, but she's very loved and oh my God, aren't they cute together? They're so cute. And I love Uma in this look here. So man, I just love these dolls. Okay, well, I love you. I really do appreciate that you're watching. And <laughs> Mara and Uma, they love you too. So we love you. We love you. And I love you. And I just really, really appreciate you a lot. And thank you. Oop, the stand fell off. The stand fell off just in time. Okay, we love you.